Uh, good morning. Good morning, Ash. <laughs> morning. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, cutting and sticking at the minute. A bit of um, blue Peter, is it? Today? Yeah, a bit of blue Peter. What's, um, what's this for? Uh, well, what we do is we, um, we, when we release a deal and we do a deal report, we always print out a physical copy of the report, put it yeah. in a file. Yeah. So um, we're just making you one for deals 200 to 249 at the minute. And um, what deal are you on at the moment? Uh, 209 at the moment. Yeah, and yeah. how long have we been doing this? Uh, five years yeah. ish, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. So they, they go in folders of 50 deals a game. Yeah, they do, yeah. So yeah. 50 deals in each folder and just keeps them all in order. Right. Um, and then we've got record for some of the early stuff as well. Cool. So, um, so here's a deal. Do you want to talk through? Yeah, so I thought it'd be useful yeah. uh, just to kind of go through because we try and produce reports with a bit of information uh, for investors uh, that work with us, um, just with kind of a bit about the area bit about kind of sold prices, um, what's available at the moment, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go through this one, sure. which is... Oh, and we better probably make it clear that we're no longer taking in new yes, investors. That's right, yeah. We stopped that uh, about five months ago. Um, and the guys that are working with us have a year's membership. Yeah. And that's just because next year we're going to do the great majority of deals ourselves. Mm -hmm. So probably this is more to help you guys think about how to evaluate your own deals or if you're sourcing deals onto yeah. the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. how you might want to... Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So... so oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, well, but I get a bit excited because this is one that my daughter has lived in. So, uh, the deal. so yeah, so the deal, so the deal. Uh, so this is Mulch Street, uh, which we bought a couple of years ago now for yeah. uh, 150. Yeah. Um, at the time, we thought it would have a market valuation of 218. Yeah. Um, so I'll just run through the report quickly. What, so did it, what did it value up at? I'll tell you at the end what okay. it value up at. Okay. So yeah. Um, so a bit of information on the front, just about kind of uh, purchase price, a bit of a rough overview as to what it is, where it is. Yeah. Um, and then we've got uh, a bit about the property, um, what sort of condition it's in. I mean, this one was pretty knackered. Uh, <laughs> There was a bath out, pretty much outside, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. I think it was in like this weird lean-to thing. There was this this bath. So yeah, yes. it was it needed a bit of work. So. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's a bit of information about the property, a yeah. uh, bit of information about the area, yeah. because quite a lot of our investors at this point weren't Bristol-based. It's always important to put a bit, bit of information in there about you know, what's nearby, how quick it is to get into the centre, that sort of thing. Yes. Um, and any kind of uh, schools, industry, that sort of thing that's in yes. the area. And those are just really useful bits of information um, for you as well, if you were buying your own deal, so what hmm. would be the purchase price, the end value done up, and what would be the rental and the gross? Yeah, value? yeah, yeah. And then what kind of conditions are in, and why would somebody buy it? You yeah, know, the exactly. schools, the area, all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. whether it's for you or for someone else, that stuff's important. Exactly, yeah. So uh, that's a bit about the area there. Um, and then uh, we've got uh, where it is in location to Bristol City Centre. Yeah. So, you know, St. Werberg's is fairly close to the centre in this yes. instance. Um, then we start evaluations. Yeah, so we try and give like um, a, a rough valuation as to what it's worth when yeah. kind of um, in A1 market value. And, what does A1 um, market and by <laughs> A1 market value, because I knew that question was coming, is like a kind of magnolia and white throughout, um, kind of a, a middle of the road kitchen, um, you know, done to a nice standard, but. Steady Eddie, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's your technical description. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Te very technical. Yes. Um, so yeah, we, we we speak to some local agents and put what their thoughts are there. Um, then the next page, we then put um, some information about sold prices in the area. Um, so what things have sold for at that particular time. We try and just give like a, a range of kind of um, comparable properties. So stuff that for the, in this example, like three bed mid terrace Victorians. Yeah. Um, and what they've kind of sold for. That and so you put in there some three beds, some two beds. Yeah. And you put in the date that they sold. Um, and, and because we bought this in the recession, you actually backtracked the date because um, the recession followed a, a spike. Yeah. And it wasn't appropriate so to I think use the spike at the time. With, um, uh, with quite a lot of the Victorian properties in this area, they're either two beds with an upstairs bathroom or three beds with a downstairs bathroom. So yeah. hence that. And then, yeah, just try and get comparable solds for yes. 
property. Yeah, the property. Um, Where did you get the comparable souls from? Uh, Mouse Price. Yeah. yeah, and that shows what land registry. Yeah. yeah Do you um, to put much credence in the, what the electronic version of Mouse Price says it's currently worth? Uh, not so much. No. 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 Uh, the more important is the estate agent valuations, I think. How come? Why is the estate agent valuations? I agree with you totally. Yeah. But um, why would that be the most important for because, you? Because uh, they're involved in the property market every single day. Yeah. So they know what the trend is like and you yeah. know what the values are like, whether they're going up, down, you know, yes. or not doing anything at all. Yes. Um, so yeah, they're the guys who know the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you figure out whether the estate agent is kind of really knowledgeable? Because one thing people might be thinking, oh, but I don't, I don't know if they're telling well, me I mean, excitable information yeah, or no, real I mean, information. It's a difficult one because for, for us, because we're speaking to the agents all the time, yeah. Um, yeah, they, they, they tend to just give me what they think. And then they can say, OK, I've got this one that's around the corner that's yeah. for sale, that's had loads of viewings um, and loads of offers, or they've got one around the corner that they've put on for too much money yes. and they haven't got any viewings or offers. So, yeah, 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 it's just useful stuff. Got you. What's next? Um, right move listings. Yeah. So similar properties in the area that are online, marked as sold or not sold, yeah. um, pretty self-explanatory, and that all comes from right move. Okay. Um, and then next page again, more solds, yeah. and then should be some rental information next. <laughs> yeah. We d we didn't check this before we put it out. I'm just looking faces yeah. going. I hope there is. So um, <laughs> theoretically, we'll put some rental information. Yeah. So um, we put in some rental information as to what sort of rent you can get for it as well. Um, yes. These are normally always um, on an AST. Yes. Um, so an assured short hold tenancy for the whole house. Um, is that because it's what worst case scenario kind of thing? Yeah, sort of. Um, and also, you know, with with this property in St. Werberg, it's actually in an Article 4 area, so yes. you can't do it as a HMO, so it'd be pointless putting rooms in there. Yes, because uh, I, I actually um, proceeded and bought this one uh, and phoned up the council and said, can I move it from an AST yeah. to an Article And I think the person's response was, not a snowball's chance in hell. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hear that message. Thank you. <laughs> Very yeah. kind of you. Yes. Cool. So. So in terms of valuation, there's a fair amount of research there. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yeah, certainly. Hi, Jess. I'm so sorry. I didn't make your hot water yet. It's okay. It's sorry. Okay. Um, and so tell us the figures. Drum roll. Um, yeah, so... so we go back to the front. So... We bought it for 150. Uh, we oh, did. I, it. I was very lucky. I yeah, bought so we bought it for 150. Yeah. Um, and so I think you said 39 was spent on the 38. refurb. 38. 38 was spent on the refurb. Yes. Um, we had a market valuation of 218 at the time. At the time. Um, yeah. On completion of the refurb, it was valued up at 250. Rick's survey. Yep. Yeah, uh, for so the remortgage. The and then uh, recently um, revalued again for 310. Yeah, not bad, is it? Um, and why bad. do you aim to always underestimate the values? <coughs> why is that sensible? Um, just so that, you know, f we're covered, essentially. Um, yeah. You know, we want uh, to be pleasantly surprised when it comes in above um, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we just try and keep it keep it to the minimum, if you know what I mean. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. And I think that's helped investors work with us over the years. Yes. Um, but we've had a few that have um, sold for slightly less or valued for slightly less, mm -hmm. but the, the largest majority are revaluing 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Well, well yeah, it, it depends, doesn't it? Over. It varies on deal to deal, but yeah. 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 So I hope that's really helpful to you guys and in kind of thinking through your own, how do you evaluate deals, whether you do a formal deal report the way we do or whether you just do that deal evaluation mm. process. Um, yeah. I hope that helps everybody. Cool. Any, any more bits of advice for folks? Exactly <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Get Susie out my <laughs> <Yeah>. way. <laughs> thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.